Hello. This is the Lightning Stalker. You can see here... What you can see here is one of my current projects. Uh, this is a subwoofer amplifier uh, I, I have uh, made out of an old uh, console uh, radio uh, CD player slash uh, tape player unit. Um, the uh, the CD player was broken, so I just gutted it out since I needed a a sub amplifier, and this didn't have any. Uh, without without that part of the circuit, it, it wouldn't take uh, uh, input. So, and I and I needed something small, cause cause I don't have much space under the computer table. Uh, so, uh, what I did was I just took off all the outside plastic parts and um, I modif I, I, I took this off and I and I reverse engineered it and the way it works is there's a 5 volt turn on signal and that switches this little blue relay here and this turns the speakers on it connects the speakers to the amplifier it's a this is the amplifier IC right here uh, it's kinda let me zoom in a little bit I wonder if this... No, I don't have the light. Let me turn on the light so you can see it a little better. See if that helps. No, let me get a flashlight. Okay. Right here, TK402-070. That's a um, Panasonic uh, amplifier IC. It's it's 120 watts by two, uh, which is pretty good for a for a single chip. But anyway, um. That's what that's the actual amplifier circuit that is inside there. Um, but the problem was that I didn't have any way to get it to turn on because the um, main circuit board, the control circuit tree was was bad. So what I had to do was I I reverse engineered it. And uh, I hooked up two wires I soldered in. One of them goes to the... I, I just followed back from the relay this blue thing here. Uh, this I followed the circuit back from... This is the... This is the control transistor right here. Um, and then from here I followed it all the way back to here and I soldered a wire in here I soldered a wire in there and then I soldered another wire to the to the positive supply 5 volt regulated supply and I can attach a switch to the end of these wires here later. Um, so if you got a little knowledge about uh, how circuits work, you can get you can modify things like this. And this here's the ribbon where the 
left and right channels come in. This is a line input that I desoldered from the control board and the subwoofers come out here and this is the front speakers here. I cut this off of the another board that was in here because I just needed this little part and it plugs in right here. So this gives me plenty of power to run my subwoofer for my computer and it was free someone threw it out because it wasn't working right but this whole part of the circuit here works fine so it just shows you what you can do if you've got a little know-how of how circuits work all right uh, that's it for now. Have a nice day.